So, the plan. Today, I'm going to go charity shopping with just one pound. One second, I'll just get it out for you. Um, should be, have some money in here. Uh, I've got like 20p or whatever in there. I've only got, I don't think I've got any change. One sec. Oh, crap. I don't think I've got any change, so... Um, one second. Billy, have you got a quid I can borrow? One sec, I'll just go and get a quid. So then, guys, we have one pound, unfortunately, all in change, which you can't even see very well. Um, yeah, not ideal. I really wanted just to be able to put the pound near the camera, a one pound piece, and say we have a pound. But that's not how it always goes, obviously. These things never work out the way you intended. But, yeah, we have a pound, albeit in a load of different change. Um, so what I'm going to do today is I wanted to actually... I just randomly had this video idea. I don't know why it just came to me. And I thought to myself, I'll go out to the charity shops with one pound and hopefully... I can find an item for £1 that is half decent, might not be a £20, £30 item, but even just, you know, an £8 to £10 item, something like that, that I can flip hopefully fairly quickly. And then, obviously, using that profit, I'm going to actually document this on a spreadsheet, using the net profit, I'm going to use all that profit to reinvest and then hopefully compound uh, over time, really, and see how much I can actually get this pound up to. And I know that a lot of other people have done this, but I want to prove that you can actually start somewhat of the basis of a business out of just a pound, if, it, if you're talking on eBay. Uh, you can actually do that, however, it's really, really slow. Now, it might be amazing, I might go out and I might find a £30 item for my pound, I can flip it really quickly, and I make, what, like, £18, £22 profit, whatever it would be, and then I reinvest that into a multitude of items, and then really get going, and it might snowball quite quickly. However, generally with a pound, it will probably be slower than that, and to get a £30 item for just £1 is a little bit more uncommon than maybe getting a £30 item for three or four pound or maybe five pound so yeah we'll see what happens so yeah without further ado we'll get on with this i know that was quite a long intro so yeah we'll get on and i'll do a bit of hunting and then i'll come back and show you my first item in this channel challenge so i'll see you in the next segment guys <laughs> It's Adam and uh, it's a few days later now and I thought I would record this segment. So I did actually get an item from the charity shops, it's this item here, Sims 3, uh, I believe this is the base game 
and uh, it goes for about seven to eight pound. I've seen a couple go for about a fiver, but I think that if I wait a little bit, I could probably achieve seven or eight pound on that. I believe, um, you know, a few months back, it was worth a little bit more. Um, but yeah, so I was quite happy with that. Obviously, I didn't think that I was going to get a 30 pound item from a pound, but it just shows that obviously you can turn your pound into seven or eight pound, obviously in sales value, maybe three or four pound net profit. And then you can obviously take that three or four pound, reinvest it into the business and then compound slowly over time. Now, is it worth your um, worth your money to put a little bit of, of an initial investment into the business? Of course it is. It's going to help grow the business faster. That's what I did. But just I mean, just by this example here, and obviously when I sell this, it will solidify this example even more. You can start kind of the ball rolling in a sense with reselling for just a pound. Um, but obviously, if you really want it to take off, you're gonna have to put some of an initial investment in um, to really make it, uh, you know, take off massively or or speed up that growth, as it were. Um, but it just shows, you know, the things are out there for a pound that you can just literally have a pound in your pocket, go to the charity shops, go to the car boots, and you can pick something up for a pound and turn it into a, a good bit of profit over the course of maybe even less than a week. Uh, if you've got the right item, then obviously it'll sell pretty fast and uh, you've got that money in your PayPal, PayPal account pretty quickly. So, yeah, um, that'll do it for this video, guys. If you did like it, then please do give it a like. I uh, will be back for a another video very soon, and I will see you in the next one. So, see you very soon, guys.